So now we're going to get to cutting cardboard, but the first thing that we're going to go over is making patterns. A pattern can really help you save time and it helps you replicate the same shape in a few different sheets of cardboard. So you can draw something or use a picture to make your pattern. I've got this simple one right here. This is the one that I'm going to use. It's good to make your pattern out of something sturdy and that way you can reuse it without damaging it. All right, so once you have your pattern, the next thing you're going to want to do is stick it to cardboard. And you can do that in a few different ways. You could use glues, you could use tape, uh, you could use studio tack, but the method that we're going to go over here is using spray glue. So what I have here is a repositional adhesive spray glue, which means that it has a very low tack, and so it's not very sticky. Uh, but it's going to be sticky enough to stick the pattern to the cardboard. But we'll also have the ability to remove the pattern from the cardboard without leaving a lot of residue on the cardboard. And then it also gives us the ability to reuse our pattern on another sheet. Spray glue can be particularly messy. So the first thing I'm going to do is clear off my workspace and lay down some scrap paper. And that'll kind of catch any excess glue that starts to go all over the place. All right, I'll place my pattern on the scrap paper, so that's what I want to make nice and sticky. And I'll shake the can up, pop off the cap, and then it's a good idea to hold the spray can about six to eight inches away from your pattern and start gluing right off of the pattern and glue in nice even strokes right over. Since this is a repositional adhesive, we don't have to lay down too much glue. And we also want to give it a couple seconds to dry before we uh, place it onto the cardboard. <coughs> so now that we're sure we have a nice even coat of glue on here, I'm going to move it over, get the scrap paper out of the way. And then the last thing to do is to go ahead and stick it on your cardboard. You can go ahead and line it up. And then it's a good idea to press from the inside out so you don't get any bubbles. And now since this is a repositional adhesive, if I find that I didn't get one of the edges quite perfect, what I can do is just peel the pattern up again Nice and easy. Line it up. And then seal it one more time. And there you go. Now your piece is ready for cutting.